Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. Good evening. David has the night off. Black, white, gay, straight, people are coming together against hate on Staten Island tonight. They came together for a vigil and a meeting to find solutions for the skyrocketing number of attacks against gays and Latinos. Tom Yamas is live in Tompkinsville with the latest. Tom. Good evening, Melissa. Well, as you can see and as you can hear just behind me, this demonstration is going late into the night. One of the reasons why they're here at this White Castle is because about a month ago, a gay couple came here for a late night snack. One of the men would later wake up in the hospital. He was assaulted by a group of teenagers that screamed a homophobic slur at him. Now, this is part of a growing problem throughout Staten Island, a growing problem with hate crimes. Nobody's exactly sure why, but ignorance is at the root of all hate crimes. So tonight, many of the residents, like the ones you see behind me, are taking the fight to the street. Staten Island's gay and Hispanic communities came together Saturday night, marching to the scene of one of the borough's recent and most violent hate crimes. Out of nowhere, I got knocked out either by one or two people. It happened so quickly, I don't remember. And I was knocked unconscious right then and there, so I don't remember what happened after that. That was Richard Vieira one month no, ago, just days after that. getting pummeled at a White Castle in Tompkinsville. And this is Richard now, still banged up, but participating unafraid. I'm not worried about going out because if I give in to the, um, the not the hate, but the uh, fear, fear is going to win. So I'm not about to let it win because I've got too much life to live than to let it keep me at home. Vieira and about a dozen other men, mostly Mexican, have been victims of what many call hate crimes. On Friday, Darian Williams was indicted on hate crime charges for beating a teenage Mexican who was coming home from a late night shift. Because of the growing problems, police and the Guardian Angels have started patrolling the Port Richmond section of Staten Island where most of the attacks are happening. Find the thugs, the barbaric monsters who actually did uh, commit these crimes. Find them, arrest them, prosecute them and send them to jail. Saturday night's march is just one of several demonstrations local leaders and community organizers have set up since the attack started. Staten Island resident Angel Figueroa is both gay and Hispanic. He's marching because he no longer wants to worry about walking in his own neighborhood at night. The people uh, get some sense and to stop harassing other people and to, to learn that everybody lives here and we have to live here together and there's no need to harass someone who's coming home late at night on the streets. And besides the residents you see behind me, the NYPD and even the Department of Justice have been out here in Staten Island holding town halls and other rallies to try to put an end to the hate crimes here. Live on Staten Island in Tompkinsville, Tom Yamas, News 4 New York. Thank you, Tom. It was a day of mourning in Connecticut.